Hello, welcome to Local Edition. I'm Leslie Layton. Our next guest believes career training is a smart investment. She's also backing some green assistance. Uh, with us now is California State Senator Connie Leva. Welcome. Thank you, Leslie. Very happy to be here today. Now, you're backing two bills that essentially do similar things. They help pay for career training uh, for workers. That is correct. So SB 66 is a bill that will extend career technical education, which is already in place. It's set to sunset. This will continue that program. I think we've done a terrific job as a society of making sure people have an opportunity to go to a four-year school, but we've forgotten how important career technical education is. Not everyone is meant to go to a four-year college. SB 148 will also double the amount of money uh, and put some uh, accountability measures in to make sure the students that we train actually are ready to go into the workforce and have these good jobs. Okay, so some of it is keeping these programs already going, like the ROP programs yes. and some of the schools. Okay, and then um, also you're uh, backing some green assistance, essentially uh, some cap and trade for employers, for businesses. Explain how that would work. So SB 398, uh, cap and trade monies are, are going to be available. Uh, there will be a significant amount of money this year. And big corporations or big cities, they have people who can uh, access those monies. They can uh, traverse the road, so to speak, to find those monies. Small businesses, they don't always have a person to do that. And smaller communities also also. So SB 398 would create an ombuds person who would help these smaller businesses gain access to those monies. Now for people who don't know, cap and trade, it's all a very kind of murky thing. What about people who think it's some sort of bait and switch? I mean, because you're taking um, carbon emissions from one business and swapping the right to make that pollution for another. How does that work? Well, cap and trade, I think you said it quite quite correctly, Leslie. It does seem a little bit murky. Uh, it has, and, and you described it correctly, it's swapping um, things out, but it's also companies are required to pay a certain amount if they are polluting. Those monies are what these other uh, smaller businesses would have access to. So what is the thinking though? Go ahead and pollute. Yeah, no. Why not just um, have have you know restrictions on pollution levels? Well, and we are working on that. You may have seen in the governor's budget, and uh, the pro tem talked about 50-50-50, reducing those carbon emissions. Cap and trade is what we have now, so that's what we're going to work with. But in the future, I think we will see that change. Okay. Um, also, some switches. Uh, partly, the uh, governor's budget. Uh, he's shifted a lot of responsibility to local agencies. I was reading in the paper just this morning about our local school district needing that ROP money because now. They have to backfill where the governor decided he, he balanced the budget. Correct. But he took a lot of uh, responsibility off of his budget and put right. it on some local things. So now you're looking to backfill that with some of these bills, too. That's exactly right. Uh, like SB 66 continuing uh, this program, it starts in the middle school and it lets middle school students and high school students know that there are other options. Career technical tra training provides jobs like machinists, x ray technicians, uh, graphic designers designers, electricians, EMTs, and these are all good paying jobs uh, that will help all of our communities. A good job solves a lot of what is wrong with society. Uh -huh. So the funding is going to go for um, for high school and college kids for specific uh, job training? Yes, correct. And it, it will actually start in the middle school and it will start in high school because what, what studies have shown is students who have some career technical education will earn fourteen to nineteen hundred dollars more a year directly out of high school and then of course if they go into a two-year program and graduate they'll earn a living that they can support themselves and their family. Yeah, and as you said four-year college isn't for everyone Correct. but um, maybe a job is from job Yes, training. a job is for everyone <laughs> it's, exactly. It's and it helps idea. all of us in society when everyone can take care of themselves uh, makes people feel good about themselves but also just helps us in society. Senator Connie Leva, thank you so much for being here. Thank you for joining us. I'm Leslie Layton.